This meeting is being recorded. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we are learning Ismul Isharu. Even though we have been learning Asmaul Isharu before, we have learned Hadha, which means this. We have learned Dhalika, which means that. But the go are used uh, to point towards masculine, to point towards masculine. So hada this, dalika that for masculine. So when you say hada, when you want to refer to uh, masculine, like zaidun here, you say hada zaidun. This is zaid. Hada hamidun. This is Hamid. Hada Muslimun. This is Muslim. This is a Muslim. Hada Tabibun. This is a doctor. Hada Waladun. This is a boy. Hada Kitabun. This is a book. Hada Baytun. This is a house. So we use Hada so to refer to how to point towards masculine. So you can notice that all the examples given here are all masculine. All the examples given here are all masculine. So Zaidun, eh? Hamid, names proper noun. We have uh, Muslimun, we have Tabibun, we have Waladun, we have Kitabun, and we have Baitun. And the way you are pointing towards uh, a, a far masculine as well, you use dhalika, dhalika zaidun, dhalika hamidun, dhalika muslimun, dhalika tabibun, dhalika waladun, eh? dhalika waladun, dhalika kitabun, dhalika baytun. That is a house. Okay? Uh, so, but when you are referring to a female or a feminine, sorry, a feminine. So, when you are pointing towards a feminine, eh, you use havihi for this, eh, for this, havihi, this. So, ha tilka that. And you have learned how or what feminine. Uh, means in Arabic language, it is mu'annath. It is mu'annath. While masculine means mudakkar. We have mudakkar as masculine and we have mu'annath as feminine. And they have told you that when you see so, uh, one of the signs or one of the alamat uh, al so the signs of in a, a feminine noun is ta marbuto, ta marbuto, rounded ta, ta al marbuto. When you see it, mostly the name or the noun will be a feminine noun. So when you see ta marbuto, so and we they have also told you that when you see uh, the the normal ta. Uh, the one that is, uh, that is not uh, rounded, uh, this star. So mostly it doesn't denote a feminine, except in how many words? Who can tell me? Except in how many words? I hope you can hear me. Okay, Sister Zainab, you want to say something? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, for, uh, in Uchtun, Uchtun, so you know Uchtun is sister. So Uchtun is what? Is sister. And you can see that the time here is no matter. Huh? It's that no matter that you know, 
not landed one. Eh? And Ukhtun is uh, feminine. But when you see Baitun, Baitun, for example, that ta does not denote uh, feminine. We are not, when we are, when we are telling you that uh, uh, sin ta or a non, a non ending with ta uh, is what? Is mostly feminine ta. We are not referring, uh, feminine non. We are not referring to that kind of ta. So they are referring to ta morguto. Ta morguto. Do you understand? So the person that asked the question in the group last uh, yesterday, uh, and everyone should also understand that, which we can we have uh, Baitun and all, uh, all some other examples like that. So don't get confused. They are feminine. They are feminine, except in when you see like Uhtun, Bintun, Bintun. Bintun. So, subhanallah. We have Uhtu Bintu. We have Uhtu Bintu. I hope you can hear me clearly. Sister Azan of Bismillah. I just wanted to ask that. Um, how many did you call the feminine words that? Okay, the open term without denoting feminine. How many did you call it? I missed that. So we have mentioned two now. We have Uhtun. We have Bintu. Hmm? We have yeah. Uhtu, we have we have what? Been to. Those are the two that I can remember for now. Hmm? I mean, one, two, three, four, so so when you see something like bay two, you know it is it is masculine, not feminine. Type. So here, when you are referring to another, okay, and we and they have also explained that. When you see uh, there are some certain nouns uh, that ends with term or quota, and they are names for. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when when you have okay, we have some some certain nouns that are not what the that ends with tam or buta and are not uh, feminine nouns like hamzatu, hmm? like talhatu. So we will know that and through the meanings of the and through the usage as well. So when you are pointing towards uh, feminine, you use Hadihi. Hadihi Muslimatun. Tilka Muslimatun. That is a Muslim woman. Hadihi Muslimatun. This is a Muslim woman. Uh, I hope you understand. Uh, if you understand, please kindly write in the chat that you understand. We have Hadihi. Uh, who can tell me the, the name of this, of this thing? What is the name? If you know it, just raise up your hand and tell me this is. Hmm? Understood, Alhamdulillah. Sorry. Who can tell me the name of this in Arabic language? What is this in English? Uh, we have watch, Abi, or wrist watch. Hmm? Okay, wristwatch in Arabic language is what? Are you with me? Eh? Okay, wristwatch in Arabic language is sa'ah. What do I call it? Sa'ah. 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 So, watch generally. So, it's sa'ah. Sa'ah. So when I want to say this, this is a wrist watch. How, how do I say it? Who can tell me? And I've told you that Sa'atun is what? Is watch in Arabic. Sa'atun. So how do I say this is a wrist watch? Who can try? Sa'atun. 
Jamil. Mr. Kamaluddin wants to try. Okay. Sister Rodia, just raise up your hand. I will, I will allow you to, to unmute yourself. So I, I, I did it because of the. Of the Zah, children. I think it's Zah, 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 Zah. No, this. This. this okay, this, that's, this, that's, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. How do I uh, say it? Hmm? To be. Sister Rodia. To be other sad. You, you have not got it. We will try. We will try, but you have not got it. Sister Zainab. I think it's Aza Zaha. You have not you have, you have not got it. it. Is, oh. Sister Zainab. No. What is this? Um, I had had he now. Someone said Adi. Who said that? Sister Rodia. Okay, Hadi he saatun. You know, we have told you we have told you that when you see something ending with what? With tamarbuta. Huh? Tamarbuta. It is what? It is a feminine. Huh? So meaning that feminine is not re restricted to uh, the class of human human beings. Uh, anything that ends, for example, when I say jawalatun, when I when I end the name of jawal with jawalatun, it becomes what? It becomes a feminine. Uh, this this one is miftahun. Miftahun is what? Is masculine. This one is faarun. Uh, Fa'arun, what, what do you call it? Mouse. Fa'arun, mouse. Huh? Is masculine. This one is itirun. Itirun is what? What do you call itir? Huh? Is it, uh, okay, I think perfume. So it is what? It is, uh, it is masculine. So, kolansuwatun. Right? This one, uh, this cup is called kolansuwatun. I will say, have he kolansuwatun. This is a cup. I won't say hada because kolansuwatun ends with what? With tamar, with tamar buto. I hope you can understand. No. Uh -uh. Okay. The same thing when you are pointing towards a far object, yeah? and that far object ends with what? With tamar buto, for example. Yeah? That is one of the one of the uh, siag siag is weddings of tam uh, of feminine nouns is tamar ending with uh, tamar buto. You are going to use tilka instead of dalika. Huh? Dalika. Huh? Dalika. So instead of dalika, I, I want to look at something here that you can. Okay. And 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 anyhow, anyhow. So when you. Uh, you know, when you are pointing at something far, for example, or Bilbithan, you can see the hair condition. So when you are pointing, it is Mokayyaf in Arabic language. You say Dalika Mokayyaf. Dalika Mokayyaf. So by the light, it's called Lambat. Lambat. Tilka Lambat, for example. <laughs> so uh, even though it is not, uh, it is not, Arabic, uh, pure Arabic language, it is lamb. Mm? They change lamb to lambat. Yeah? Arabic, they are, they are so funny. So Al Muhim, okay, Mr. Zena wants to say something. So yeah, that is the usage of dalika and tilka. Hada for masculine, hadihi feminine, dalika for masculine, tilka for feminine. Now, Tafadoli. Never mind, I already saw it. The person that can answer. I mean, I want to just go along here. Okay. Had he Muslimatun? This is a Muslim woman. Tilka Muslimatun. Huh? That is a Muslim woman. So we have had a Zaidun. Huh? Had a Hamidun for masculine. Dalika Zaidun. Dalika Hamidun. Okay. So. 
examples now are hadhihi maryam hadhihi maryam this is maryam hadhihi aisha this is aisha hadhihi muslimatun this is a muslima this is a muslim sister or this is a Mus, uh, muslim woman hadhihi bintun hadhihi bintun this is a daughter or female child hadhihi sayyaratun sayyara is car this is a car sayyaratun is what car hadhihi darrajatun darrajatun is what is motorcycle darrajatun is motorcycle hadhihi darrajatun sorry darraja is bicycle darrajatun is bicycle darrajatun nariya is motorcycle do you had the word nariya from nar nar is fire hmm? is fire nariya they call it they qualify it with fire darrajatun nariya that is motorcycle na oh sorry nariyatun na riyat i hope you can see it clearly na riyat hmm. da rajatun na riyat it end with ta murbuta that is motor cycle so when you are referring to bicycle you use the word da raja so you can see that all these names are feminine and we use hadhihi for it but tilka that when you are referring to maryam eh, that is in a father place you use tilka maryam that is maryam tilka aisha that is aisha tilka muslima that is a muslima tilka tabiba that is a doctor tilka bintu that is a daughter tilka sayyara that is a car tilka darajatun that is a uh, bicycle so in the quran we have examples from the noble quran we have tilka aljannah that is the garden that is the paradise tilka ummah that is a nation wa tilka alqura huh? and those are villages <laughs> we, we we learn that later so sometimes we use tilka and when you want to translate it it will mean those so just note that so but the essence is that when you are having a particular way of uh of creating uh, al jamu in arabic language what, what do you mean by jamu is plural so a, a particular way of uh, forming plural noun in arabic language is called uh jamu taksir jamu taksir jamu taksir is uh, a form of jamu that you cannot you cannot separate the singular form from the plural form for example when you have muslimun muslimun the plural form would be muslimun you just had wawa noon muslimun a muslim when you want to say muslims just had wow and noon at the end it will give you muslimun when you have mu'minun just have just add wow and noon at, at the end it will give you mu'minun when you have when you have what another another thing eh? salihun just add wow and noon it will give you salihun that is what we call jamu mudakkar salih but there is a particular jamu there is a particular a uh, form of plural that maybe even you may not even have the whole the whole letters in the jamu uh, i've given you one example last week i said al ibl when you have sukun on ba it means a camel but when you have kasra beneath that ba it means camels you can see that you, you, you can you, you don't say ibl a balloon uh, that is what we call jamu at-taksir for example when you say 
Kolansua kap you say kolanis. Hmm? Kolanis. Kolansua kolanis. You can see. So you cannot separate that mufrod, that singular form from the plural from plural form. Meaning that it 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 doesn't become a plural form with wow and noon. When you see that kind of jamru and you want to refer to it, you want to point at that kind of plural form, you can use the word tilka, tilka. And when you when you are translating it to another language, it will mean those because it is plural. Al-Qura here is plural. It means villages. So, and when you are going to point at Al-Qura, so you use tilka. So, because it is Jamalu Taksir, it is a form of Jamalu that doesn't end with Wawa and Nun. In that form, you can, we are going to be relating, we are going to be uh, taking that plural form as what? As Mo'anath. As Mo'anath. That is why one of the poets says, Kulu When you see plural form, it is Mo'anath. It is Mo'anath. It is feminine. Fem feminine. He said, in the tajamaru, my people gathered. Wa bi kotili tahadathu. They were discussing on how to kill me. La ubali bi jamu'i. I don't care about their congregation. Kullu jamu'i mu anna thumbet. Because all jamu'u, all puras are what? Are feminine. He used that that in the in the poet meaning that uh with all the congregation the the i consider them as feminine they cannot do anything because i'm not i'm a man so atil kalukuro so what we are saying here is necessary is that those are villages so don't get confused that we are using tilka to mean uh to mean those because this kuro, this alukuro is in the arabic language is considered as muanef what is the meaning of Yemen? Who can tell me the meaning of Yemen? Hmm? Nah. Uh, bad news. Bismillah. Fadbal. Oh, sorry. Uh, because of just one person, I, I muted everyone. Okay, now, Bismillah. Many of you, I mean, we can't hear you. Any other person? What? I have a bad mouse. We couldn't hear you. We still can't hear you. hear you. Okay. Yamin means uh, right hand. Right hand is what is Yamin. So even though Yamin means right, while Shimal means left. We have Yamin, right, Shimal, left. Don't get confused with the camera, the image. That is my Yamin. This is my right. And this is my this is my left. So Yemen, right, Shimal, left. You understand? Yemen, Shimal. Well, I remember when we were in Madras and in Lake Yorale, we used to do Yemen, Shimal. Hey, hey, Yemen, Shimal. Yeah, the, the thing you used to do in school as well. Left, right, left, right, Yemen, Shimal. So Yemen, right, Shimal is what is, is left. You understand? So, but in Arabic language, sometimes they use the word Yemen to mean right hand. And that says, And what is that in your right hand, O Musa? And what is that in your right hand, O Musa? So he was uh, approaching Prophet Musa, and he said, It is my stick. So until the uh, the end of the verse, we have in Arabic language we have explained this so many times. So we are still explaining it now. We have two types of sentences in Arabic language. Hmm? 
we have two type of two types of word sentences, and we all know that uh, words in Arabic language that we in, in language generally we call it morphing in in language. It's combination of of signs, combination of forms. Uh, uh, it gives us morphing, which we call word in language in linguistics. And uh, when you combine, when you have group of words. Uh, which does not make sense. It is called phrase, uh, phrase. And when you have group of words which makes absolute sense, uh, it's called sentence. And we have two types of sentence. We have al jumlatu al fa'liya, al jumlatu al fa'liya, and al jumlatu al ismiya. We have al jumlatu al ismiya. Sentence begins with noun. Uh, sentence begins with noun. We call it nomina sentence. Nomina, nomina sentence or noun sentences. Al muhim. You can call it nomina sentence. You can call it noun sentence. We have al jumlatu al fa'liya from the word al fa'il. Alif lam fa'in al lam. Then you add ya and tamar both of. Al fa'liya. The first one is al ismiya. Alif lam, alif hamza waslin, sin amim. Al ismu is from ismu name. Then you had ya and tamar buta. Al ismiya. Al jumla to ismiya. That is non sentence. Al fa'liya. From the word fa'il, which is verb, we have verb or verba sentence. So when you say non sentence, it begins with what? With none. For example, here we have a tabibu al kitabu yasiru. When you have any any sentence that begins with a tabibu, for example, a tabibu dakiyun, the doctor is smart. Al kitabu jamilu mufidu. Al kitabu jadidu, the book is new. Yasirun qadimun. Yasir is coming. Yasirun qadimun. Yasir is coming. Kharaja. When you have this are uh, considered as what? As non-sentences. But when you have sentences be begins with beginning with uh, verbs like kharaja, uh, to go out, dahaba, uh, to, uh, to go, kataba, to write, kharaja zaidun, zaid went Zaid went out. Zaid went up, went out. That is, he has been inside before, then he went out. Zahaba Ahmed. Huh? Hamid huh? has gone, for example. Kataba Muhammad. Muhammad wrote. So this one is called Vaba sentence. So, and they have given you uh, examples here. We have Al Baytu Qaribun. The house is near. The house is near. You can see that al baytu here is a noun. Uh, al qaribu here is what? Uh, al qaribu here is also a noun. Al, al muhim, the fact that it starts with noun, it is called al jumlatu al ismiya. Al jumlatu al ismiya. Al jumlatu al ismiya. You have to know this. It is called a noun sentence in Arabic language. And in noun sentence, they have told you that the first noun would be Muqtada, uh, while the other part would be Khobar al Muqtada. Would be Khobar al Muqtada. In this level, you call it Khobar. And uh, this level, you call it Khobar. So uh, the first will be Muqtada, while the other part is Khobar. So we have Yasirun Boniyun. Yasir is rich. Yasirun Goniyun. Yasir is the name of a person. So meaning that that sentence is what is a noun sentence. It's a noun sentence. So you say you should observe that khabar is a single word here. We have Yasirun Goni. Khabar is a single word. Huwa talib. He is a student. He is a pronoun. It will be considered as what? As a noun. Meaning that the sentence here is also a noun sentence. It is a al jumla. It is a jumla ismiya. It is a jumla ismiya or al jumla tul ismiya. 
So huwa talibun. He is a student. Al-baytu qarib. Al-bayt, the house. So you can see that the house is a noun. So yeah, the sentence here in Arabic starts with a noun. That sentence is al-jumla al uh, a noun sentence. So the house is near. Hada kitabun. Hada this would also be considered as what? As a noun. Huh? As what? As a noun. So hada kitabun. Because it is a demonstrative noun. This is a demonstrative noun. Hada kitabun. This is a book. So the question now is that so can a hover be one be, be more than one word? Huh? Can we have hover huh? that is more than one word? Yes, we can have hover, and we have learned that before. We have learned that before. This this just serves as equation because we have to get the foundation well before we move uh, to a uh, higher level, inshallah ta'ala. So we have al khabar that uh, that are compound khabar. Uh, that are what compound khabar. For example, now we have in uh, from what we have learned in Adars al Rabi, eh? Mr. Rodi, I want to say something. You can mute if you don't want to, if you don't have anything. Okay, tell you. So we have from what we have learned in Adars al Rabi, eh? so Al Baytu, we have Fil Bayt, and they have told you that these are called Huruf al Jar, Huruf al Jar, eh? the letters are the uh, roof that that's they all call it half uh, half that uh, will give noun aljar one of the signs of aljar is kasra one of the signs of aljar is al kasra in jam'u mudakkar salim the sign of aljar will be ya for example when you have al jam'u mudakkar salim a plural form that ends with wow and noon, like muslimun, muslimun, uh, mu'minun, mu'minun, uh, mudarrisun, mudarrisun, a teacher, the teachers, or with all teachers, a teacher, teachers, we have mudarrisun, mudarrisun. Uh, when you have this form of jamu, this form of plural in Arabic language, and you see any of harfu jar, uh, Preceding it, that Muslimun, that wow would change to yeah, it will become Muslimin. That wow in Mudarrisuna will change to yeah, it will be Mudarrisina. That wow in Salihuna will be Salihina. That wow in Mu'minuna will be Mu'minina. Meaning that uh, the, uh, the effect of this of this huruf fi ala fi ala and other and other huruf like that are not restricted to kasra but at the beginning level we may just tell you that when you see the fi or when you see ala preceding a noun in arabic language it will give that noun kasra no that is not absolutely correct we are just saying that so that you understand the level we are teaching you. So, but what we are saying in essence that it will give it al jarro, al jarro. We call it huruf al jar. It will give it al jar. Al jar. Uh, we have signs of al jar in Arabic language. One of the signs is kasr. So, when you have alism al mufrad, a singular noun, so it will give it kasr. So, basically. So when you have plural like Muslimun, Jamu Mudakkar Salim, and a plural that ends with wow and noon, it will change that wow to ya. And that ya will be a sign of al -jar. So what we are saying here is that fil you know, fil uh, is not a single word and it can come as al khabar Mathala, when I say Muhammad fil Muhammad fil bayti. Muhammad is in the house. Fi is in al bayt is what is the house. Muhammadun fil bayt. Muhammad is in the house. Huh? Al qalamu ala al maktab. The pen is on the table. 
the pen is on the table. Al-Qalamu ala al-Maktab. Al-Mas, or you have Al-Quran or Al-Mus'haf fi al-Masjid. The Quran, the Mus'haf is in the Masjid. Al-Jawalu ala al-Sarir. The handset is on the bed. So in these sentences, Muhammadu fi al-Bayt. Muhammad would be Muqtada fi al-Bayt. That compound phrase, that phrase would be what would be khobar. That is, harfu uh, jar and ismu majroor. Ismu majroor is the ismu that comes after harfu jar. Is ismu majroor. That is uh, ismu that takes effect of harfu jar. Ismu that takes that is noun that takes the effect of harfu jar. It's called ismu majroor. Uh, Muhammad fil bayt. Muhammad is in the house. Muhammad would be Muqtada. Fil bayt would be what? Would be Al Khobar. Al Jawalu ala al Maktab. The phone is on the table. Ala al Maktab. Ala and al Maktab would be Khobar al Muqtada. So we must understand now that uh, uh, Muqtada should, should be a singular word, basically. So, but the khobar could be singular and could be a compound uh, or incomplete sentence, which we call phrase in Arabic language. So they, they give us example here. So we have Yasir ala sarir. Yasir ala sarir. Yasir is on the bed. Yasir is on the bed. So Yasir is considered as mutada, while ala sarir is what is khabar. We have huwa he is mutada. Fil bayti in the house is in the house will be khabar al mubtada. Khabar al mubtada. Do you have any question here? Do we have any question here? Do you understand all what have been seen? The screen is blank. Subhanallah. Till now? Yeah, the screen is blank till now? No, it's good. Um, okay. I guess once you move away, if you are using your phone for Zoom, if you change the app, like if you scroll to another place, the screen will blank out. But if you give it time, it will come back. Just for those oh. that are getting blank screen. Okay, no. It's nothing. Do you have any any question? Hmm? There's no question. You understand? Okay. I want someone to give me an example of Muqtada or to summarize what we have been saying. I want someone to summarize for me. Huh? Within, within one to two minutes, what I've said in... At least you should be able to talk in two minutes because I've been talking now more than... Uh, more than uh, 40 minutes. Now, Bismillah. Can someone tell me the... Hmm. Okay, Bismillah. For Dolly. Um, so, sentences that, be that begins with noun. There's like hmm. the Mufada component, which is single and usually the first word. And there is a um, hmm. cover. That's like either the next word that comes after the Mufada. It's can, mm -hmm. That one can be just a single word, or it can be mm -hmm. like compound sentence or a phrase. For example, mm -hmm. um, let me see. Yasir Goniyun. No, Yasirun Goniyun. So Yasirun mm -hmm. is um, Muqtada, and Goniyun mm -hmm. is cover. Well, in it is now um, Yasir Filbeiti. Yasir mm -hmm. is still Muqtada, then Filbeiti mm -hmm. is cover Muqtada because Filbeit is now a phrase, but it's still the second noun after the um, Yasiru. MashaAllah, So, and before that, we explained that we have two types of sentences in Arabic. Can you explain that? Or any other person? You can give me any other, let's call another person from uh, brothers, from men in the house. One of the men in the house, Brother Amusan Sadiq. 
تفضل تفضل برو العمو صديق نعم بسم الله Um, you said we have two type of sentences. We have the um jumla to fairly um is is mia, which is the um nominal sentence that is the one that starts with with now. Yasir, Yasir, Ganiyun, Yasir, Ganiyun. So and we also have jumla to fairly the one that starts with um with verb. For example, um, Zahaba, Zahaba Mudirun Yasir. Zahaba Mudir. Zahaba Mudir. Okay, Zahaba. Oh, sorry, Zahaba Mudir. I wanted to say Yasir. Yasir has gone. Yasir has gone. Very good, Mashallah. Barakalafik. Any other thing? Any addition to what they have said? I told you that we have a form of uh, plural in Arabic language which ends with wow and no. What is the name of that? What do we call that form of plural? Who can tell me? Hmm? Who can tell me the name of that plural? It is called Jamul Mudakkar Asali. Even we are coming to that, inshallah, in. Uh, and uh, when we are learning morphology, Arabic morphology, inshallah. So in this in this course, we are going to learn it. Okay. I hope you understand. Any is there any question? Hmm? Sister Rashida, are you with us? Oh. Okay, it has been a fat dolly. Assalamu alaikum. So I just have a quick question. For the examples of the Quran verses, the one you were saying, there was a particular part that was village and it was feminine. I I don't know because that particular one doesn't have like some more brutal. And I don't know, like going forward, how are we going to like know if this particular one is feminine or masculine? I don't know okay, if that's okay. Okay, let me go back to the. Did you attend less? Did you attend with your heart yesterday's lesson? I I did. With your heart, with your heart, you are there. I'm not sure. Okay, so I because they, they they should have explained that in details yesterday, how to know feminines and masculine. But let me check the verse. So, inshallah. Uh, okay, you mean this one? Be a me, Nika. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yesterday, I assumed that they will start of explain. I was explained that we, when you see any part of the body that are that are what? Who can tell me? That are two, or that are dua. For example, you have how many eyes? Two. You have how many eyes? Two. What is the name of high in Arabic language? Huh? Ain. It is Ain. Ain. So Ain. You can say Ainun. Ainun. I. Because we, we have two eyes. That Ainun is more is feminine. Uh, don't say because it doesn't end with Tam or Guto. And that is one of the things that Ustaz taught you yesterday. We have two hands. Uh, we have Yad, 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 uh, Yadun, Al Yumna, Al Yad, Yad, Yusra. So when you are referring to one of the hands, you use feminine. Have he yadi? This is my hand. Huh? You have two regil, two legs in Arabic language. Ah, oh, sorry, <laughs> you have two legs. So Imam has uh, have two legs. 
So when you are referring to one of the lengths, you use feminine. You understand? You consider it as what? As feminine. So because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to Yemin here in Arabic language, which is what? Which is right hand. And what is in your right hand? So that is why it's being used as a feminine because we have two hands. Do you understand? Yeah. So, okay. Who can tell me the, the meanings of Ain in Arabic language? Like four meanings of Ain in Arabic language. Ain. Arabic language is a rich language. Brother Mablasis, mashallah. Tafadbal, meanings of Ainun in Arabic language. Tafadbal. Meanings. Or meaning. Meanings. I only know our eyes. That's one of the meanings. That's one of the meanings. Hi. Okay, any other meaning? Huh? Allah Assalamu alaikum. So I'm sorry, I'm muted. I don't know why. So we have what? different Hello? meanings of uh, different meanings for Ain in Arabic language. So one of the meanings is what is stream. Stream that is one of the meanings. So we have Ain al Jasus. Jasus is a spy. Uh, when we say we have Ain with us. Here, at least we have a spy. Do you understand? So we have Aino, uh, Aino, Al uh, Baatha, Buhari, Uyunahu, Fil Bilad. Uh, Buhari uh, as uh, sent is Uyun, uh, his eyes. We won't say with eyes, his spies uh, to the cities. So that is, that is. I, I, we have spy, we have stream, we have eye, we have the essence of something, uh, or the original, uh, or the capital. When you say Aino Tijaro, that is, I had Aino Tijaro, it is the capital of the business, the capital, or the essence, or the original. When you have two money, two, two, we have fake and original, you say, ah, Hada Ainu dollar. Hada Ainu dollar. This is the original dollar. So we have Al Ain, meaning that the essence of something like that. And we have Ainu to mean uh, evil eye. And that some people will refer to as uh, Ajay in Yoruba language, even though Ain does not mean Ajay literally. So because some people may have Ain and they are not Ajay, that is how they are created. So when they see something good and look at it, uh, without saying mashallah barakallahu fi, that thing may, may smile if the person doesn't do as far that day. So the, it may smile, it may spoil it. That is why Prophet said, when you see something good, something amazing in your friend, in your uh, brother or sister, say uh, barakallahu fi. So because al ayn the ayn is real. And if something that can sup, can surpass or can uh, supersede al qadar predestination, it would have been Allah. But Allah has written everything perfectly. So these are some of the meanings of Allah in Arabic language. That is that is uh, al faida. We call it faida. So that is the. Uh, <clears throat> 
that's one of the lessons we used to take from the scholars when the, when we are learning when we are learning uh, before the scholars when they reach some level they will give us provide provide benefits that are out of the lesson so but when you take this benefit it will benefit you inshallah and you may not read it in the book but it will it will be with you until until you you become a great scholar inshallah Tayyip. Uh, can you see this? Adarso Sabia, can you see it? No. Okay, Tayyip. We have Tilka, that, and it is used for female. Man Hadihi, who is this? Hadihi Amina. Eh? This is Amina. Can you see Amina? I hope you can see no. Amina here. No. Okay, thank you. This is Amina. Woman Tilka. And who is that? You know, Tilka is used here because the person, uh, uh, the uh, inquirer is referring to or is pointing towards uh, is a feminine. So we have woman tilka, and who is that? Tilka Fatima, and that is Fatima. That is Fatima. That F is in bracket, that is female here, tilka. So, Hadihi Tabibatun, this is a doctor, wa tilka Mubarrido, and that is a nurse. Yeah? This is a doctor, and that is a nurse. Hadihi Minal Hind, this is from India. Watilka Minal Yaban, and that from Japan. Who can tell me, who can say this in Arabic language? This is, Salaam Alaikum, do you have time today? Eh? Can I add one hour to your, to your time? No. No, I know. I know. Uh, sorry, at least for me. Others, I don't know. <laughs> I know, me? I know, I know, I know. Canada time, so it it will, so it should be. Okay, sorry. So, uh, who can tell me this? This uh, is from. This is from Ukraine, and that is from Russia. <laughs> This is from Ukraine and that is from Russia. Who can tell me that in Arabic language? Brother Moablas is not done. I'm referring to a female, you're not, not uh, a male. A female. Uh, yes, female. Uh huh. Ah, the he Ukraine. This is from Ukraine. Okay, Adi, Minel, Ukraini. Is it Ukraini? Is it Ukraini? Is it Ukraini? What is your Ukraini? I don't know. <laughs> it is called Ukraini. Ukraini in Arabic. Ukraini. Ukraini. Adi min Ukrania. What did I say? Adi min Ukrania. Nam. Watilka. Watilka Russia. Watilka min Russia. Min Russia. Assalamu alaikum. I don't know why I'm being muted. Who is, mute, who is muting me? Please fear Allah, one of the coast. <laughs> okay, what is Almania? 
Eh? Who can tell me the meaning of Alman here before we end the class? Almania is Germany. What did I call it? Germany. Okay. I hope you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have Britannia. Britannia is Britain. Huh? Britannia. That is that's one is clear. It's Britain. So Ah, uh, Manhada, who is this? That is for masculine. Hada Hamid, this Hamid. And who is that? Dalika Ali. That is Ali. Atil Kadajaja, is that a chicken? You know, you won't say Adalika here because the Jaja tone ends with what? With Tamar Buto, it is a feminine. Atil, atil Kadajaja, instead of Adalika. Uh, we say Atil Kadajaja, is that a chicken? La! Tilka batta, that is a duck. Tilka batta, that is a duck. Tilka, ma tilka, what is that? Ma tilka, what is that? Tilka bayda, that is a egg. Huh? Bayda is what? Is egg that you eat. Huh? Hadi sayyaratun, sayyaratun mudarris. This is care of the teacher. Ah, the, the car of the teacher is not is not fine. Uh, this one is. Watil uh, kasa yarotun mudi, and that is the car of what? That is car of the head teacher. I want to be very dear to teacher. Follow us on our teacher. Asa to Abbas in Hadi. Is this Abbas watch? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see Asa. I, I, I can't even, I, I did not even remember that you have Sa'a to here. This is Sa'a to. Uh, watch. Asa'atu Abbas in Hadihi. Is this Abbas watch? La, Hadihi Sa'atu Hamid. No, this is Hamid's watch. Tilka Sa'atu Abbas. That is Abbas watch. Dalika Dikun. That is a rooster. Wa Tilka Dajajatun. And that is a chicken. So can you, can you, can you notice the difference now? So when you were referring to uh, Dikun, because Dikun is a masculine, uh, we say Dalika Dikun, that is a rooster. And when we are referring to a feminine here, we say Watilka Dajajatun, because Dajaja is feminine. Huh? Chicken. Here, yeah, read and write. So fill in the blanks with appropriate nouns of pointing towards so far. Huh? So we are, okay. We have uh, Asma al-Hadiqatu, the garden. We have al Bapa, the dog. We have al Mumarrida, the nurse. We have al Muaddinu, the caller to prayer. That is masculine. Dalikal Muaddin, that is Muaddin. Tilka Mumarrida, that is a female nurse. Tilka al-Hadiqatun, that is a garden. Uh, that is, this is a she camel. I've told you the, the names of camel in Arabic language. Naqa is she camel. Uh, we have what? We have Jamal as uh, male camel. We have al bayda hang. We have al batta Hadihi batta Tilka batta Hadihi bayda Tilka bayda هذه حديقة تلك حديقة هذه ناقة تلك ناقة هذه ممرضة تلك ممرضة هذا مؤذن ها تلك أو ذلك سوري ذلك مؤذن so we have اسم الإشارة nouns of pointing nouns of pointing so we call اسم الإشارة للقريب ها for something uh, close so we have هذا محمد masculine Hadhi amina feminine. Huh? Lil ba'id. Fa. Ba'id is what? So, something fa. We have dalika hamidun. That is hamid tilka zainab. That is zainab. So we have ismul ishara lil qarib for near. We have ismul ishara lil ba'id for fa. For fa. That is al ba'id. So this is where we are stopping today, insha'Allah ta'ala. 
if there is any question, so the floor is open for us to ask question. And for the vocabularies, inshallah, I'm going to send that uh, to, to the groups, to the group, sorry. We have just one group. Okay, we have a Shamsu here, son. Huh? Sa'a, what is the meaning of Sa'a? Who can tell me the meaning of Sa'a? Just say it. Don't raise up your hand, just say it. What is the meaning of Sa'a? Time, time, time. Sa'a is watch. Time. Watch. A lifetime. Watch. Watch here. Huh? A lifetime. Huh? Ah, Abu, <laughs> you are muted, you are bye. I'm sorry. I said Sa'a is what? Sa'a is, uh, is watch. While Waktu is time. Even though we can use uh, Sa'a sometimes for, for time as well. So I will use Sa'a for an hour. When the hour comes, Yokosimul Mujerimun, the evil doers will will be swearing that Mala Bisu we didn't spend more than an hour on the heart. So you can see that is what we call al jinas in Arabic rhetorics. The, the first sa'a here means hereafter, the hour. That is the that is the last day. Huh? The evil dwarves will be swearing that we we didn't spend more than hour. So that is 60 minutes uh, when we are when we were in the uh, when we are on the hand. So, Mila Aka, what is the meaning of Mila Aka? Who can tell me that? Sharp, sharp. Just say it. Mila Aka? Mila Aka is what? Is spoon. Mila Aka. How do you Mila Aka? This is a spoon. Huh? This Mila Aka. Huh? Please note it. We have Mila Aka. Bintu. <laughs> what is happening? So, Bintu. What is the meaning of Bintu? Daughter. Daughter. Al Kaaba. What is the meaning of Al Kaaba? Kaaba. Eh, Mecca. Kaaba. You don't know Kaaba. In Mecca. What is the meaning of Bakaratun? Cow. What is the meaning of Baido? Baido is egg. Hakibatun. Hakibatun is bag. Hakibatun is what? Bag. Hadihi Hakiba. This is a bag. When you have your bag with you, you say Hadihi Hakibati. You add ya. This is my bag. Hadihi Hakibati. Naka is what? You should know that. You should all know that. What is the meaning of Nakatu? I'm not muted, you all. Maybe he has written the message some minutes back. Okay. What is the meaning of Nakatu? What is the meaning of Nakatu? I'm not going to release you if you don't know the meaning. Mouth. Nan? Mouth. Nakatu, mouth? Mouth. No. I, I, I don't understand you. Meaning of now, you can write it, write it. Meaning of now, cotton. Meaning of now, cotton. What is the meaning of now? Ah, no one knows it. 
Me of Nako, not mouth, the family is mouth. Nako, we have said it so she many times. Man. She, she camel. camel. She camel. Nako is what? Is she camel. So have he Nako. We said Nako is she camel. Uh, Jamalun is male camel. Um, we have he built camel. For camel. So, inshallah, we have a uh, baitun house, we have famun, uh, which means mouth. We have batta. What is the meaning of batta? That, is, that means duck. So, we are, uh, inshallah, we are stopping on this. Do you have any question? Uh, within, uh, within four minutes. People are going, people are, they are leaving already. Huh? We are allowed to be else. <laughs> Any question? Eh?